this is a role I'm still known for in uh, Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. I play Bottom. And I don't know if you're familiar with this, but he's a, an amateur actor who thinks he can play every role. The funny thing is, we went in to do the auditions and the director was explaining the play. And he said, you know, there's the King of the Fairies. And I said, I can do that. And he said, you know, there's the Young Lovers. And I, said, I can do that. And I, I just kept saying, I can do that. And he said, you're just like Bottom. And that's how I got the part. I got to be Bottom in the show. And to this day, it's been like 30 years easily. I go back to my hometown, people still say, I saw your bottom, it was remarkable. One of my first tips, and this is, I, I discovered this as a young actor when I was at Shaw. I mentioned I was at Shaw, I think. I, um, I have always, as an actor, tried to keep expectations low. I, when I'm in a play, I always tell people I am a bad actor. I'm not, you know that. And, but they don't, if they don't know me, they don't know that. So they, I've been given a gift, and I realize that not everyone, I was in a theater program and they really, they can't teach everyone to act. But there are some people who just have a gift. And sometimes, you know, that's my cross to bear. That I, it's like Jesus, that's where that comes from, cross to bear. Because Jesus had a cross. He literally had to bear, like wear it. Like he was bare, almost naked. In like a little thong kind of thing. And he had a cross and he had to carry it and they nailed him to the cross. I'm not saying I'm like Jesus, but he had a cross to bear. That he was the son of God or whatever. And, uh, so I've, it's been similar for me with my talent. But anyway, things come easily to me, that's all I'm saying. So, but, but I don't let people know that. I try to keep expectations low. So I say, hi, I'm a bad actor. And then they're not expecting much from me. So when I went to Shaw, I actually said to them, I said, oh, I've never done the classics before. And I, I didn't mention my bottom, because I really think <laughs> they don't, you know, they're not concerned with that. So, and I thought I could surprise them. And the thing is, I don't know if you've ever read The Cherry Orchard, that's the play I was in. I was Yasha, the manservant in The Cherry Orchard. And some of the dialogue, I mean, the words, like the names of people, very difficult to pronounce. So I told them I was dyslexic. And then, when I went on stage, I saved it until stage, in, in rehearsal, I, I sometimes just did it wrong just to surprise them later. And I went on stage and I said, would you like your pill now, Boris Borisovich? Just like that. And they were shocked that I was able to say it. So because I kept expectations low, they were impressed. If you keep expectations low enough, then the mediocre will always impress them.